wet track. Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, Emma Friedman. Um, uh, wet track can bring her right into this race. Mayor of Mount Buller is a filly for Chris Waller, who's promised plenty and is looking towards a Queensland Oaks. And it should be mentioned, most of these fillies would be looking that way uh, over the 1,800 metres today and then getting over the 22 in just three or four weeks' time. Yeah, I think, and the lead-up, obvious lead-up race will be the Roses in a couple of weeks' time, is that right? So that they go into the Roses and then have two weeks in towards uh, the Oaks, or might even be next week. We'll double-check on that, but that's the uh, the obvious little uh, stepping stone, if you like, towards uh, Oaks glory. Here's a, some really nice promising fillies in this field. I really like this race, and I enjoyed going through it. So Molly Bloom, the New Zealander, your black booker, and she was just sensational hitting the line stylishly last start and today she gets that 1800 meters which is going to suit her even more so so it's not just a jump of one furlong it's two which is going to make all the difference now chris wallace had trained five winners so three at the sunshine coast and two in newcastle and such is the nature of the uh, really competitive day he's not in the votes at the moment can j mac make it five from five he's on firestorm ready for a start they're off and racing now in the bracelet. Firestorm bounce well off the inside with red breast kind words going forward. Likewise, exotic miss, Amazonian lass and peer pressure to make a line of five and six early. Oceans of energy just off those with Chaudra, then Miss Jolene, Mayor of Mount Buller. Molly Bloom in the back half of the field early on with race ace. Mazur back on the inside, further back to bright red and true fairies dropped at the tail. 1,300 metres left to run. Red Breast a little fired up, leads by three lengths now. Exotic Miss in second spot, third the inside as they settle down as peer pressure. The outside, Miss Jolene, then followed Firestorm, who's travelling in fifth position, the inside of Amazonian Lass. A length away to Chaudra, kind words the middle. And back on the inside is Oceans of Energy. Three parts of a length, the Mayor of Mount Buller, Molly Bloom in the centre on the Rail Majeure and then followed Bright Red, Race 8 and uh, Race Ace and two lengths away is True Fairy. Last of all, 950 metres left to run off the back and in front, it's Red Breast, a length and a quarter clear. Second up on the outside as they head down the side of the track is Exotic Miss and then followed by Peer Pressure, Miss Jolene. Firestorms just off those, still around fifth with Oceans of Energy improving underneath. Kind words there in the centre. Amazonian Lass about to hook wider with Chaudra. Majeure Molly Bloom is caught up in traffic, only about four off the leader but needs a run shortly. Mayor of Mount Buller then followed Bright Red True Fairy Race Ace, topping the straight. Red Breast narrowly up on the inside. Oceans of Energy. Miss Jolene running on. Here's Amazonian Lass. Kind words trying for a split in the centre. 200 metres left to run. Amazonian Lass struck the front here from Miss Jolene. Oceans of Energy and then followed Molly Bloom very late, but it's Amazonian Lass in front. A wall chase, but Amazonian Lass is home. Amazonian Lass won the bracelet. I reckon Molly Bloom second, photo third. Mayor of Mount Buller all kind words. Then Miss Jolene, Oceans of Energy, Exotic Miss, Bright Red, Chaudra, Firestorm never came on, Mazur next in, further back as they cross the line, Race Ace, and then True Fairy and Red Breast towards the tail end. How was she $15, the wakeful winner? Unbelievable price there for Amazonian Lass for the Waterhouse bot team. Hippo gets a big win up on the sunny coast today and there is no doubt she will absolutely plummet in markets now for the Queensland Oaks. So Jason Warren gets our three votes for 11 years since winning a Group 1. He wins his second Group 1. James Mc